All right, and we're back. I finally, I finally cooled down enough that I can get appropriately comfy for the stream. I feel like I, uh, you know, I've been playing so long without my proper uniform. I'm much more comfortable like this. Bring back snacks, Sir Rack of Lamb said. I already have snacks, my friend. So welcome back to Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. We are three worlds in. We're at 19%. Uh, the expectation is we'll shoot for a hundred by the time it's uh, all over. We've been doing both the main mode and the mini games. We'll start off with the mini game tonight. Chompy, welcome in. Good to see you. I did. I beat Haunted Castle three times. I'm actually, I'm actually working. I'm actually working to get better at Haunted Castle. I'm working my way down to a to a one credit run. And I did. I uh, I got a I got a PB five credits tonight, my best run ever. I got I actually got two B PBs because the the first run was a ten credit run, and that was a PB when I got that. Then the second run was a ten credit run, and then the third run was a five credit run. And now I'm not gonna play the game again until next week, so. All that progress is going to be rested away. <laughs> and I'll start fresh again next week with the grind. But yeah, I've, I've lost my mind and I've decided to do, you know, to, to become good at that game. Jeff is, Jeff is, Jeff is, yeah. He's completely lost it. We've all lost our marbles, Persephone says. It's okay. I am in good company then. Fatty Puffer, welcome to uh, the amusement park. Thank you for the mask. Oh yeah, we've got to find the hidden, the hidden Magolores. There's one. I think I already saw the next one too in the background. I did. I've never had the patience to get good. Feels like a game full of nasty stuff. It's it's a bad game. It's a bad game, but I'm kind of fascinated by it. Um, and so, yeah, I've just, uh, I've just become determined to, to master it. I mean, you look at my, my list of, uh, my list of challenge runs that I've done. It's a pretty, like, it's a pretty respectable list, right? Of, of games that we've done. You know, Contra, Super C, Castlevania... Journey to Silius, Gunsmoke, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, they're all classics. I had to I had to get a trash title on there. We can't have like we can't have such a high percentage of non-jank games around here.
Honey Castle is like if Castlevania 1 is made by developers who actually do hate the player. <laughs> Is it Malice? Is is it Malice that's responsible for Haunted Castle being the way it is? Is it Malice or is it Incompetence? Found the first two stickers so quickly. The third one is proving to be much more elusive. I don't really, I haven't, don't have a good grasp on what like kinds of places they can be hidden in yet. So I may be spending, I may be wasting a lot of time like looking where they can't actually be. Why not both? <laughs> Sir Rack of Lamb says, yeah. It's probably a little bit of each. Probably a little bit of a little bit of incompetence, a little bit of malice. They're a deadly they're a deadly combination. The first level is lots of yeah, surprise lots of lots of nasty surprise moments. But the little statues in the background. It's a, it's a mean game. It's a mean game. And I hate it. But I kind of like it. It has good music. You at least have to give it that. Haunted Castle has good music. Alright. I didn't see the last sticker. We'll look for it again, but I think I need a fresh set of eyes, so we'll go into a... Uh... We'll go into a mini game. Does it? Ha ha ha. You don't like the you don't like the music? It's sluggish and not that much fun. It really isn't that great compared to other Castlevania titles. Well I mean, no. But I mean It's on par with uh, with a lot of it, I think. Press A to open Kirby's mouth wide. Both eggs and bombs will be tossed your way. Try to catch as many eggs as you can. Don't eat the bombs. Still want to get to this at some point, maybe while waiting for the new Zelda. I've been enjoying this a lot. It's very, um, uh, I'm only, I'm, I'm like three worlds in. So far it's been very casual. It's, uh, I haven't, I haven't experienced much challenge.
Oh no, I missed an egg. Rip the perfect run. I missed two. ends the run. This is a, I just said I haven't experienced much challenge. This, uh, this, uh, it's proving to be tough. <laughs> No, here's all the challenge I'm missing in the main game. In this one mini game. I may even take a day off work, Chompy says. Right on. expecting a bomb. Oh, one away from perfect. scared because this is uh this is a little tough and it's not even the hard difficulty hey we got it crossed. No. Oh, we are off to a good start. Thank you for the trophies, cows. What day, uh, could someone remind me, what day does Tears of the Kingdom come out. It's on a Friday. Friday, May 12th. I don't think I have any... I don't think I have any 24-hour stores around me, so I'm not going to be able to get it right at midnight.
be picking up my copy after work, Jeff says. Yeah, I'll probably have to go. I'll probably go pick up a copy after the Thursday night stream. <laughs> We're gonna get this. If I can't get a copy that day, I'll go digital, Chompy says. I imagine it's, I, I mean, you know, I don't know where you live and what your stores are like, but I imagine for most, uh, For most people in most places, there'll probably be, you know, enough at release. It probably won't be that hard to get a hold of. to living on this side of the world, we get uh, access to games first. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at failing at that one spot. <laughs> or that one type of uh, spot. Where it bomb, egg, bomb. Kirby's eaten so many eggs and still no Chompy McBite face. My GF and I are going to play together on separate screens like a couple of capital G gamers. And this game is harder than Haunted Castle confirmed. <laughs> Has it, has it taken me more than five credits yet? gonna watch my playthrough Jeff says yeah jelly will probably just watch me play the game jelly really doesn't play anything that's not um, uh, jelly doesn't um, play anything that's not 2d She doesn't uh, she doesn't care for the for the Z axis. Brownie, do you have any one credit arcade games? Any any arcade games I've done a one credit clear? Um, not arcade games, no. Um, Haunted Castle would be the first, and you know, not on arcade hardware. I 
I've mostly done most of my like challenge runs have been through have been to do no death runs of NES games. The sound when it winds up in the beginning sounds an awful light. A lot like the start of the Klinger Winger. No, don't bring that up, cows. What are you doing to me? It's giving me war flashbacks. A Zelda release is a big event. It happens twice a decade. gaming in the Wii, Wii U, early Switch era, so this is my first Zelda launch since I played Twilight Princess on the GameCube. That that almost lines up with, with me, Chompy, except slid just a little forward, because I think the last Zelda game, um, the last Zelda game I got at launch was Wind Waker, and then, um, Breath of the Wild. So I had, I had a gap between those two. Did I get Wind Waker at launch? Yeah, I think I did. But there's really only one game in between there, right? Because of Twilight Princess, uh, or two games Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, and now this one. Oh yeah, I had a I had a pretty big I had a pretty big gaming hiatus, Sparrow, and welcome back. I've gotten every Zelda game at launch since Wind Waker, Jeff says. Yeah, Wind Waker was probably the last one I played at launch. But no, probably about it. It definitely was until Breath of the Wild. But yeah, the GameCube. During the GameCube's lifespan, I kind of stopped playing games for a while. Um, so I missed out. I missed out on the the Wii and Wii U pretty heavily. I mean, I played a little bit of stuff, but it was like basically just socially and stuff that I probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have normally played on my own. I went to college. When I went to college, I didn't have time for, uh, I didn't have time to keep up with gaming. I took my Super Nintendo with me and, uh, some favorites, and that was all the, uh, that was all the games I had throughout, uh, throughout college. And then even afterwards, I just, I don't know, I was kind of just busy with life stuff. <laughs> working and moving around from place to place and all that. Like, from the GameCube to the Switch, the only things that I played, like, that were kind of contemporary were um, uh, Mario Kart on the Wii, um, a couple of the Call of Duty games, some of the rock band and Guitar Hero stuff, and Street Fighter 4. Because I was in situations where, like, those were big with my co-workers, and so I'd play those with them. But I wasn't, like, I didn't have, like, I didn't keep up with modern games on my own anymore. I got Wind Waker with the bonus disc with the uh, Ocarina of Time Master Quest right on. I got the same thing, Chompy. Played Link Between Worlds, but not at launch. <laughs> but now you have a degree to show for it, right? I mean, yeah, but... 
I mean... I'm envious, I don't have one of those. Uh, no worries, Sparrow, it's not a big deal. It was a useful tool to me, but, uh... Yeah, that's all it was. That's all it is. Or all it's been. Sly Hippo, welcome in. Great to have you here, and yeah, we're going to do Kirby for the rest of the night tonight. I'm starting off with some mini-games, and this mini-game is harder than I expected. <laughs> so we might, we might be here a little while, this egg-catching game. But I'm confident I'll pull it off eventually. played in any of the newer Kirby games. Love Superstar on the NES. I haven't played that one yet or on the SNES. I've heard that one's good and I've, I've got it in my collection, but I haven't picked it up yet. We're going to do it together on this stream at some point. Hopefully I'll like it. Hopefully I'll like it just as much. Ah, uh, is that Obakito? Welcome in. Thank you for joining us tonight, and I hope you are doing well. Starts off so easy, and then it starts getting you with the quick changes. Yeah, yeah. Just the just the difficult turning up the difficulty from easy to medium was was a a little bit shocking, and now. And now turn it up to hard. Yeah, but it it comes so fast and when it's uh, when it's sort of striped where it's bomb egg bomb rap and rapid fire. Those really get me. I was recommended by Twitch. Oh, right on. I'm a, I'm a lucky guy tonight. Oh, I was feeling good about that one. I might be biased, Cal says, but I think Twitch made the perfect recommendation. You're too kind, Cal's. Thank you. Well, at least I'm consistent. Hey, ghouls are free. Welcome in. You think those eggs are hard boiled? Well, at least some of them are. Uh, at least some of them are are not even cooked because. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a little bit of a spoiler. But if you if you win the match, a lot of the eggs actually hatch.
It's such a short game. It's such a... It's such a, it's such a short game. It's such a narrow window. And, like, I, like, I, I, like, I should be able to focus and perform, right? For this brief amount of time. And yet... Especially considering the pattern is always the same at the beginning. Hopefully none of the bombs hatch. So close. That was the best one yet. Best one ever. Now you know we can get it, though. That just proves to you that we can pull it off. I missed an egg. This is how birders are made, because they can fire both uh, eggs and bombs. Is that how we get bombs? The bombs hatch. Victory! Hey, Cows, uh, you're responsible for that victory because that question you asked, it took my focus completely off the game and I was able to autopilot to a victory. I won because I didn't overthink it because I was because I was thinking the entire time. I was thinking, I was thinking if we're lucky, we get Bob Oms. We get Bob Oms by being handed. I, I was trying to figure out how to word it. You see, I, I did it, I didn't work, but I wanted to say if we're lucky, we get handed bombs by a bunch of fungus in an elephant in, in, in an air conditioning shaft, which which is a reference to the Super Mario Brothers live action movie. <laughs> but that's why I couldn't think about the game is because I was trying to be clever. <laughs> Emphasis on trying to be. Uh, but anyway, thank you. Thank you for uh, helping me win there. Thank you for the GG's and the trophies. Chompy, Sparrow, Cows. What about the eggs that didn't hatch? That's the mystery, Buddha Fingers. What about those eggs? Kirby's an incubator. It's very warm. Excellent job, Frowny. Thank you, Sly Hippo. Well done. Alright, that's it. We mastered another game. do have to wear a mask. King DDD. Alright, so that's what we'll do. We'll go find our King DDD mask and get that last mission checked off and that will be complete. Conemouth Kirby. Wonderful. Forgo DDD. Cone Bee, my beloved Cone Bee Cow says. Cone Bee. A hundred and sixty two stamps. We're going to be sitting here a while. Robobot armor. Bonkers. Park staff, Waddle Dee. Blue Kirby. Go. A 
15 stamps a page, so it's almost 11 pages. Goodness. Shadow Kirby. You can press a button to speed this up, but I figure we would just have a bunch of fun. Masked DDD. We'll have more fun by just watching them all flop down nice and slowly. It's satisfying. It's like a, it's like a bubble wrap popping, right? Dark Matter Clone. This looks like a lot of free coffees, Tuesday says. <laughs> Very satisfying, Cal says. Green Kirby. Also helps to build more anticipation for what uh, mask we're going to get. What mask we're going to get next. Galactic Nova. Oh, that's it. We got a Meta Knight, a gold dark Meta Knight statue. And a mask. around for that sticker again for just a moment. I wonder if one of the Waddle Dees could be like standing on it. Like not permanently, but they do kind of move around a little bit. Got that one. Got that one. Where oh where? Sticker number three. I wonder how many coffee shops have been robbed just for the little stamps they use. Steal that and you get free coffee for, well, not life, but as long as the ink lasts. In case you couldn't tell, I was always I was always bad at like I Spy and Where's Waldo books. In case my search for the stamp has uh, left any doubt. Or maybe you just buy the stamp first, then go around to different coffee shops until you find one that uses the same stamp. <laughs> time we've got to play the egg catcher so we can uh, we just have to play it with the mask on we'll go for the medium difficulty hey thank you for the wheel we'll do that in just a moment I've never tried where's Waldo on the NES I suspect I'd be terrible at it too though I suspect Tuesday has plundered a couple coffees, cups of coffee. <laughs> this way, Buddha Finger says, 
Excellent use of the word plundered. Cal says I like this method of buying the stamp and looking for the store because it in, because it makes for more adventure. <laughs> All right, we did it. Zero. This one is now officially 100% complete. And we get to hear the secret song. This is the normal version. And the secret version. It's just kind of a Game Boy version, right? It's alright. We'll listen to it while we spin the wheel. So the wheel command, I have my I have my beanie on backward. command that's a little inaccurate because I'm actually out of the Diablo chocolate so if we land on that I've just got to re-roll uh, just a heads up we did not land on that we landed on the non-spicy thing on the wheel the warheads candy so uh, let's uh uh, pick one at random. Sorry for all the crinkling noises. And it's green. Green is probably, it is apple. Green apple warhead. The wheel makes me so hungry, Google says. Where's Waldo on the NES? Is it a Bethesda game? Really? <laughs> Can't get it out of the wrapper. my teeth feel sensitive. <laughs> it doesn't last long though. Yeah, the sour the sour powder wears away pretty pretty quickly and now I'm just left with the delicious candy to enjoy. Or I should offer some to, to Isaac. He looks a little scrawny. He doesn't eat a whole lot. Waldo is terrible. You'd love it, Budafinger says, but it really is terrible. <laughs> oh boy. He was pogging. <laughs> he does that a lot. <laughs> does Isaac pay does Isaac pay taxes, Tuesday Tuesday asks? No comment, Tuesday. <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, the the Warheads candy, they're they're sour candies, but they're they just have a coating on the outside that makes them like intensely sour for the like you know just for when you first eat it, and then when that wears away, it, it's it's sweet. So it's like one quick like punch of sour. What we really want to know is if he pays rent. Isaac, uh, Isaac earns his keep by, uh, helping with the stream behind the scenes. Sort of a sort of a labor in exchange for room and board situation. What a good for nothing bag of bones, Buddha says. Ouch. Uh, till next time, Dynamut says. Till next time, Dynamut. Be well, my friend. I hope you have a great rest of your night and a wonderful tomorrow. candy often, but I bought some the other day, Fuzzy Boot says. It's been a long time. I said to myself, when I was a kid, candy was under a dollar. I realized I'm mor morphing into my mother and grandmother. <laughs> that does, uh, that does seem to happen, happen to us. At least in, uh, at least in some ways. Stamps, life's greatest joy. <laughs> oh, fact fanatic. Uh, let's check off two of those uh, missions. We'll clear off a couple of these missions in main mode and then... Um, in story mode, and then we'll move on to the next area. I have an unhealthy relationship with candy, Persephone says. Somehow it ends up in my cart while shopping, and it's gone the next day. <laughs> I've had that same strange experience happen a time or two. When I was your age, soup was a nickel, Gould says. <laughs> Did you have to bring your own bowl? And we had to carry it there and back, both ways, uphill. Barefoot, in the snow, in the 150 degree weather. I don't normally have candy around, Cow says, but I recent but recently I got a bunch of discounted Easter candy. Nice. 
discounted candy. <laughs> Is the gateway drug to diabe diabetes, Buddha Finger says. Oh no. I was gonna say discounted candy is the best candy. Budafinger says I'm sad to report I bought four boxes of Girl Scout cookies. They did not last the weekend. <laughs> Those don't tend to last a very long time. I wonder what that is. I wonder what it is about. What's, uh, what's everyone's favorite Girl Scout cookie? I don't normally, I don't normally pull the chat with questions, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that nearly everybody's got an opinion about that one. Gremlins took the cookies, Persephone says. I love lemonade, Scout says. I like uh, I like thin mints, but I love Samoas. They aren't really a thing where I am, Sparrow says. That's true, that's true. I've got a lot of people. Um, I wasn't thinking internationally enough. I'm sure you probably have equivalents for most of them, though. I don't like Girl Scout cookies, Persephone says. All right, fair enough. Thin mints are also very good, Cow says. I think the cookies are gremlins. If you let them get past their expiration date, poof, you've got gremlins. Good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing they disappeared quickly. Let me make one up, though, Sparrow says. Regionally appropriate. I like the eucalyptus Anzac cookie shaped into a koala. I think most of those are real world. I think most of those were real words. Gremlins was a good movie. I'm, uh, I like Gremlins. A big fan of Samoa's Buddha Finger says, but the peanut butter tagalongs are coming in a close second. I tell you what, uh, peanut butter cookie sounds really good right about now. I could go for a peanut butter cookie for sure. For sure. Jelly and I will have to have some this weekend. I've been really been wanting to make some chocolate cookies, Persephone says, with peanut butter chips. Ooh, that sounds good too. Just been just been lazy. Lazily passing through this level because I'm required to beat a level with a mask and I've got to use a 
one of these items. There. I think that qualifies us for both things. Number one, here we go. It's almost ice cream making season. Blue finger says. What uh what characteristics define ice cream making season? Souvenir, perfect. Gold mark statue. Cool. Still haven't found that last sticker. Found that one and this one. Warm weather, a, hung a hunger for things cold and sweet. Okay. That's, uh, that's simple enough. Straightforward enough. Makes sense. Should we get warm here, Persephone says. Everyone loves the warm weather. And I am the I am the monster who longs for the cold. A 
nothing but cloudy days and heavy winds. The heavy winds, heavy winds I am not so much a fan of. They can be uh, troublesome. I wish I could send you my cold frowny. It's been cold. <laughs> it's been so cold here lately too. <laughs> I thought you meant a, I thought you meant as in a, an illness, chaos. Uh, but look, speaking of the cold, look where we are. Are the new level we unlocked? The new world we unlocked? Winter world. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I want to live here. Kirby can wear a Kirby mask. That's odd. I wish there was a purple Kirby. Sorry, I'm indecisive. Let's wear the Kirby mask. Pink Kirby wearing a pink Kirby mask. What's going on, Frowny? Did you lose the keys to the curb mobile? <laughs> I was supposed to be looking for a sticker. I was looking for a hidden sticker. I couldn't find it. It's awful bright here in the winter land. I'll turn the uh, you know, brightness down just a little bit. I don't sit around in the dead of winter making ice cream in the kitchen, Buddha Finger says. <laughs> Alright, understandable. I was on holiday in Singapore for two weeks. I was anywhere between 30 and 37 C, which I guess is like 86 or... 87 Fahrenheit. Uh, 30 to 37 is a really like wide range. Right? So I can't really say what that would be like in Fahrenheit. Hate hot weather was drenched in sweat and so humid too. I'm right there with you. Another Kirby's face he's ripped off, no doubt. Oh no. 30 to 37 is 68 to there's is 86 to 98 degrees. That's a I mean even no that's way too hot for me no matter what. If the temperature starts to get above 60, I start to feel like I'm melting. I would never send you the sniffles, Cal says. Thank you. I'm a heat vampire, Persephone says.
This is very cute. It's perfect. Makes me want to retile my bathroom to look like this. Fighter Kirby. Ooh, I like Fighter Kirby. Fighter Kirby's kind of fun. This mask is absurd. Oh, Fighter Kirby's kind of fun, but Mecha Kirby is the best Kirby. something cold. While 100 plus is too much for me to want to go out, I don't mind 90 to 95 degree weather, Persephone says. Oh my goodness. That kind of weather destroys me. power-up switching here in the stage. Oh, look at the trees. They got, they have ice cream on them. Their, uh, their blossoms or whatever are ice cream scoops. Delicious. I think that's what they're supposed to be anyway. They have kind of an odd texture. Up to well over 100 degrees here last year, Persephone says. Temperature range sounds ideal to me, Cal says. But that's because I'm a lizard who likes to sun herself on warm rocks. <laughs> You lived in Thailand, though. I did Buddha Fingers, and it was hot. I I liked I really liked living in Thailand. I did not like the weather. I lived in Thailand and in Texas, and uh, oh boy, it was too hot for me in both places. The weather the weather was was miserable for me every day.
Cool. We got that thing all the way to where it needed to go, but I had to rush past a lot of stuff and didn't get to the ground, so. We gotta backtrack. So we're going to do it all again. Worst part about loving the heat is you don't want to get out of your warm bed in the morning. <laughs> Believe me, Persephone, you can love the cold and still not want to get out of your warm bed in the morning. <laughs> I have I have I have first hand evidence. Secret. Comfy bed is a good place to be. A great place to be. I've got a lot of thick, heavy Sherpa blankets. One thing I know, it's how to be, it's how to be warm and, warm and comfy in your bed. I feel like I might have missed out on something coming down here. There's a lot of level up there I didn't explore. This is potentially very bad. I had a $20 Walmart special blanket. <laughs> I'm sure that it's I'm sure it's excellent too. Activate. 
Never mind. Whip power activate. I mean, this looks like a great place for a secret up here, right? But, uh, no such luck. move right along to the next level. We did a good job with that first one. It's, uh, that it's purple and pink in the background. It goes very, very well with all the blue of the ice. This is another beautiful place. We're very lucky to get to visit a place like this. No! so high. sure what they intended the solution for that to be. I think I think they expected me to have the boomerang. I like my solution much better. Oh yeah, the whip has that ability. The whip is a great power up. I said the mecha power-up was the best, but you know... I think the whip power-up may be the best. I think the fire is a trick. I think, uh, I think really the mecha power-up is the one to have for this run, because it's so fast. There we go. Easy game. Thank you. 
Uh-oh. This game has a lot of Kirby transformation powers in it. A lot, a lot. It's pretty cool. I guess it's, um, I guess it's not really more, it feels like more than um, The Forgotten Land. But I guess it's not really more. It's just the thing is that uh, so many of the transformations in the Forgotten Land are those uh, mouthful transformations, and they don't feel like the same as the like Kirby like costume transformations. I think that's what's it makes this game really feel like it has a lot more. It's probably. Probably about the same amount or less. Ah, my boot power's wearing out. Just in time for another boot. This is cool. First try. That makes sense. Even though you can still have your ability hat while in mouthful mode, it feels a lot different. Yeah. It just it feels like a different category of thing. Can't just leave that star uncollected. What kind of monster would I be if I did? I feel like there's a good chance I missed something in this area.
super hammer? Super hammer, let's go. Super hammer is a little a little odd. I'm just getting one-ups everywhere in this game. A lot of little carrier key missions. Alright, not bad. No. Maybe be a little more careful this time. No, yes. Oh, no.
suddenly struggling a whole lot. <laughs> This shouldn't be that hard. It's my, uh, it's my desire to, like, rush fluidly through it that is, uh, really, really crushing me. You've got this. Thank you for the vote of confidence, cows. I think we'll get it. I think we'll get it. I'm just, uh, you know. I'm my own worst enemy here. the whole area with speedrunner fluidity and oh no <laughs> and also like be really thorough at the same time but those don't really mesh That part of me that wants to make sure I do all the things was getting me into a lot of trouble there by, uh, you know, making me want to break every one of those breakable bricks, even though so many of them are were clearly unnecessary. I don't know that I like ninja kirby that much Tomato, just what I needed. Thank you, game. Nin Ninja Kirby um, controls a little more awkwardly than I would like. There's a stiffness to the moves. Thank you for the palms, cows. We've done it. We've cleared another stage. We may actually clear two worlds tonight. I'm uh, kind of intending for another, like, sort of longish stream. We'll probably go till about, you know, maybe for another, like, three hours or so. If everything uh, holds up, we might uh, knock out a big chunk of progress.
We unlocked the Samurai Kirby subgame. Cool. That'll be the next mini game that we do. Then uh, we'll do another level, another regular level first, and then maybe we'll see about that mini game. Ninja Kirby can cling to walls like Ninja Gaiden. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of unnecessary given that Kirby can fly. Like, what, is, what good does a wall cling do? But... Really like the mosaic pattern in the ice here. Yeah, it's got like, uh, tessellations. Giant ice cannon? You bet it is. Ow. My fire is useless against the ice cannon. Fun. We're good. Spear Kirby to the rescue. Spear Kirby I like quite a bit. Especially when we have to swim. Battletoads. Bonus spear in case we lost ours, I guess. The only problem with Spear Kirby is he can't operate in diagonals. I thought the ice orbs might kind of alternate between the upper and lower paths. No! Oh, that took my spear. What's this ice crystal all about? Oh yeah, it makes you, uh, 
invisible for a while. Maybe not. Okay, gear number two. <laughs> you know the tile patterns in the walls here do, uh, they are appropriate for this level. Also because like, it's kind of like a water level. There's a very, like, bathroom-type quality that small tiles have. Which is definitely a room where you're going to find some water. It kind of reminds me of beach glass. That's probably a more pleasant thing to be thinking of. <laughs> say you thought of the better thing. I crushed myself. That's probably not good. I did it again. That's a instant death when that falls on you. I was worried. I was worried if I cut down that platform, I wouldn't be able to go into the door. Oh, 
puzzle room. Onward we go. I didn't hurt this guy. What was the... What? Accidentally did it. Hooray. <laughs> I I stumbled my way into victory. <laughs> I didn't know you could throw water like that. You mean you've never you've never just scooped up a ball of water and thrown it at somebody? <laughs> you've been doing it wrong all these years, cows. Oh, we opened up the bomb challenge. That's where we're going now. We're gonna go master the bomb technique. I'm a desert human. I do not understand water. <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, I'm thirsty. There's nothing quite so refreshing as just a... Just a handful of water. Just scoop myself up a ball of water and I'm good to go for the rest of the morning. Do 
During bomb prep, you can change your throwing angle before hurling a bomb. Dash and Y, bomb bowl lets you roll a bomb straight ahead. Down and Y sets a bomb. A set bomb places a time bomb. Bomb set places a time bomb. A handful of water thrown at you by a pink pot. No. I was trying to I was trying to angle my throw, not walk off the edge with a bomb. I assure you this is more difficult than it looks. Why can't I do this? Just eat the damage and move on for now. I'll figure out how to do that properly later. How in the world did I miss that one gold coin there? I don't understand. Missed that one again. That's bogus.
right, well, we'll get ourselves a little baseline score here. We can do a little better. Gold might not be that hard to get. Not too shabby for a first try. Thank you, gals. Just uh, not really confident in when Kirby is gonna aim a throw and when he's gonna just walk with the bomb. No, I'm stuck under the thing. <laughs> some of that was super smooth, and some of that was super wonderful. We got a gold. We got a gold, but I can do better than that. So let's do another run. 
just for the sake of our honor. Thank you for the trophies, cows. Thank you. Let's restart that run. <laughs> I want a, I want a, a, an ability that lets me like hold a bomb and like pump it up into a bigger bomb, like Bomberman. insists to me that that should be a thing I can do. I missed one of those things. I just have to find Bomberman and eat him. wasn't a perfect run. Actually, look at that. I think it was worse. I think it was worse than the previous one. No, it wasn't. Alright, cool. That's good. I'm more satisfied with that one. I feel like I did more of the things. I did mess something up. It wasn't a perfect run, but that's alright. It's a gold, and that's what we wanted. So let's head from here into the amusement park. See about this samurai Kirby situation. Press 
Press A the moment you see the exclamation mark appear. Play solo for intense one-on-one -on -one sword duels. In multiplayer duels, the first player to reach a set number of victories will be named the winner. It scares, it jump scares me. Love this game slide of poses. <laughs> Me too, I keep getting jump scared even though I know it's coming. Me too. <laughs> Gold is perfect in my eyes, right on cows. I jump every time. Oh, I failed one. Oh, that's a shame. Let's look at what the missions look like for this. Ten in a row. Wear that mask. Five in a row without faulting on hard. Thirty total rivals defeated. Clear all difficulties. Okay. Well... I like that the loser raises his hand so you know he isn't actually dead. Wow. 
Wow, that was slow. Victory. Oh, my. All right, we'll lower it back down. I've got to do a few more to clear the missions. Thank you for the trophies. But we can do these on any difficulty. At least the jump scares let me know my reflexes are intact. This makes me want to play Bushido Blade. Welcome in, Subject Omega. Pleasure to have you here. The way of the samurai is to attack with whatever nonsense you can find, because apparently swords don't exist aside from Meta Knights. Right on. Anything can be a weapon to the properly trained samurai. PK Bullet, welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you are well today. I think we gotta do one more round of this. Yeah, I only have to defeat one more. I only have to defeat one more enemy, but we've gotta play a whole other round to do it. Um, actually, let's go get the Waddle Do mask. And then we'll be, uh,. And then we'll be efficiently using our time. Drawsia. After we uh, get all of our stamps here, of course. Dark Nebula. This minigame on the Super NES version is so hard, especially Meta Knight. I haven't, uh, I haven't, I haven't played that yet. Queen Sectonia. It's on my to-do list. I like the Dark Nebula stamp. The, uh, the mask. If there was a stamp, I, I missed that. Samurai Kirby 100 is now available. 
test your skills against all against other Kirby's all over the world once per day. Oh my goodness. Once per day though. It's limited. Do I need Waddle Do? Waddle Do. PvP Kirby? Oh no. Yeah, we'll try we'll try that out in a moment. I'm sure I'm gonna get demolished. Sectonia, how you've been defeated, defeated in Triple Deluxe? I'm afraid that's another Kirby game I haven't played yet. I should probably get this game. The game itself and the mini games look fun. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I will give the uh, I, I will give the advisory. The game, at least what I've played of the main game, is super casual. So, like, you know, you got if you 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 might. If you have to have a challenge, you won't be super engaged on that level. But, like, you know, if you want something that's low stress, low effort, comfy, just walk through it and appreciate all the cool things that you get to see. 100%. It's been a lot of fun so far. I wasn't looking for a challenge. Yeah, right. I mean, it's still like a lot of Kirby games like start off pretty easy and then and then really ramp up at the end. So it could become an agonizing nightmare later on. I don't know, but from what I've been through so far, it's been really laid back. We need a fighting game like this. One button wins. Maybe with a bit of, of footsies and positioning. All right, that's uh, that gets us uh, the President Haltman. That's all missions cleared for this game. Let's hear the secret song. They're very similar. Have a cowboy class that uses a gun instead. Good old fashioned quick draw. Well, let's see what uh, let's see what Kirby 100 is like. Practice, practice is mandatory. You can attempt this challenge once per day. Impressive results are in you a lot of stamps. Surpass your 99 rivals to claim first place. My goodness.
right, let's try it. Yeah, this is the one that actually matters. <laughs> Ninety-six. Third place, fourth place, fourth place. Ugh. So scary. Yeah, you can play it as many times as you want, but only the first play gets recorded, I guess. Highness Mask? We should do character selection. Let me play this as DDD or the uh, one tire enemy from back on the Super NES. <laughs> nice, amazing. Not bad for a first try against actual humans, right? I think that got us the mission for it too because uh i don't think i actually have to win one yeah to to there's not a which you know thank goodness If we had to win, if we had to win it to get one of these missions complete, like the, we'd have to play this every day for who knows years, maybe. <sighs> okay. So let's just see when we go back to it. What does it say to us? Yeah, your results will not be recorded. Okay, well, I don't need to play it again. We played it once. Um. Boy, my heart. That did a lot to my, like... My, my, uh... My nerves are shaking. My heart's racing. That's a scary game. Kind of fun. I kind of, I kind of liked it. Too many jump scares for this Brady cat. I wasn't even playing, <laughs> and you feel the same way. Uh. I have three cats, as a lot of uh, people know, and two of my cats are extreme cowards, and one of my cats is fearless.
I think there was one tournament of Samurai Kirby. So I guess it counts as a fighting game. It's a cool one. It's a cool one. Alright, we're gonna go back to story mode. Head back into the regular levels. I think I'm going to take a moment here and split my uh, split my VOD into a smaller file size. So we're going to break the recording here for just a moment.